Hello guys, who here back with another video. This one is on the PTS server and it's a small one. It's just basically an update and you probably already saw it in the title, but um, I just got, well, they got some few updates to the PTS server and last time I did a video, it didn't show the things I'm gonna show you right now. So as you can probably see, I'm on my Chloromancer and I took off all the gear so I could get like the lowest, absolute the lowest so I could see this. So what is the requirement for U10? So as you can see here, they I don't know if this is on uh, live servers either. Uh, the thing is that I'm, I don't have any characters normally under uh, 15,000. So I don't know if this actually uh, like uh, kind of you know gets transparent and you can't show it. But the p point is, and why you probably click this video is, you can see down here as we showed also in the other video. This is you got gear and then you got top side. As you can see, uh, the requirements for U8 is going to be 5,000 power rank, and it doesn't show up. This this requirement doesn't show up if you already have the power rank. So uh, let me sh really quickly switch to another character. It doesn't you know light up before you uh, basically do it again. So you can see I'm back on the character and it's basically uh, right here. It's still uh, not shown here because it's actually something else uh, that is uh, required to go here. And I'll show you guys in a little bit. I'll just really quickly jump back on this one so it's better to see the requirements. So as you can see, it's, it's transparent because I am not able to go there. I'm not still not able to go here, but uh, top side U9 is actually going to require you 10,000 power rank or greater and then the light of 25 or greater. And as I talked about before, light is the penetration stat. Uh, so monsters in uh, U9 uh, top side is going to have uh, darkness. I'm not sure if uh, if enemies in U8 is going to have it. I'm pretty sure they're not because it doesn't require it. Uh, require it. And also, um, it be, it's kind of the deal is to go from over here to go down here and you wouldn't be able to get any light before you went in here right so i don't think it has it uh, but i don't i don't think it doesn't have it so uh doesn't really matter the point is that it's going to take you 25 light uh before you can enter u9 which is pretty awesome so everybody is actually going to start here even if you are a character or a person that has been like playing forever you're actually going to start here instead of just going all the way up to 10 uh, immediately so uh the requirements is 10,000 uh, or greater and 25 light and probably what you really want to see is that what is the requirement of the u10 so u10 is still 15,000 and if you are above 15,000 you will not see this requirement that's why i'm all the way down we tested on stream just to see it because somebody couldn't see this uh people see, saw this and when i locked on i couldn't see it but probably what you are mostly curious about and you already have seen is is that uh, it's going to require 2025 or a greater light actually to enter here so again nobody nobody's basically more or less is going to have a chance to get in here even if you have saved up a lot of empowered gym boxes as i have you're not going to be able to have that much light before you enter here basically so everybody's going to start here and then go all the way here people are probably going to go pretty quickly towards this one because like i said uh, many People have set up a lot of empowered gem boxes and they're going to open them right away and there's going to be cosmic gems in that and empowered ones just I think has like straight up like 200 or something like that uh, the the radium ones of them so it's not going to be very hard for people to get into U9 but U10 is going to require you a little bit but even getting 200 you know you need 10 power uh, empowered gem boxes so you do need some crystal gear from here before you can get to here so this is the requirement and i think this is absolutely amazing and that's why i made a video on it because people have been talking a lot about the requirements and people wanted this to be twenty thousand, right people wanted this to be twenty thousand, and i think this is the absolutely the best they could have done um could they have made it the powering twenty thousand? sure why not I, I i understand it could be be way better um but the light thing is just absolutely amazing. And I, I still like how they did the penetration by calling it light and darkness. It's I don't know who made this, but props to that person who did that. That was that is really, really brilliant uh, to me, at least, because it, it's very in style with Trove that it doesn't call armor penetration or it's not called like that. It's it's called something different that is on the lighter side of, of, of things. Right. So uh, I think it's absolutely amazing. And I really like this change. And um, I uh, yeah, I, I that's 
that's why I made the video. I, I couldn't be more happy about uh, what the requirements are. But um, as they are right now, like I said, 5,000 power rank just to enter U8. And then 25, which is going to be also pretty simple, just getting one crystal item. Basically, you're going to be able to get to nine if you that you already there. So people are going to skip most of these uh, and go to nine. But 10 is going to be a requirement uh, or get some time before you get in there. And uh, crystal three items will only drop in your 10. So uh, you're not going to be boosted like crazy already from day one. But it's not probably going to take people too long as usually don't. So. Uh, but I gotta say, I'm really, really, really happy about this. And again, uh, if you're wondering how I got to the Atlas, it's Control-A, as you can see in the bottom there. So uh, the Atlas is not something you find. You can still find it in the hub, but uh, you can also just use it basically here. So that is pretty awesome uh, indeed. So I don't want to make this video any longer. I think I've landed on this uh, very much so uh, a long time now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and also if you think that the requirements of the 2000 25 light is is great or you didn't like it or you something make sure you guys comment below i love to get you guys feedback on it as well because it's always great discussion to kind of so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye